Let us learn the easiest trick ever and first time in YouTube. How to solve this particular question which is repeated several times in your previous year paper and this is going to be very important for your upcoming exams as well. So let us start with the question. A man saves a certain part of his monthly income so that he can purchase a car in 16 months. Find the percentage increase in his savings so that he can purchase the same car in 14 months only so it is said that the man decided that he is going to buy a car in 16 months so similarly he is just saving a part of his salary every month and buying that car but suddenly he decides no he is going to buy that particular car within 14 months so how much percentage in savings must be increased so that he can buy the same car within 14 months this is your question so here percentage value is asked so we need not to consider the actual values so let us assume that he is saving one rupee per month so in 16 months he is going to save 16 into 1 that is 16 rupees so this 16 rupees is the cost of that car yes i know you cannot buy a car with 16 rupees but we need the percentage value so we can assume anything but we need to satisfy the given conditions in the question so here we are assuming that he is saving 1 rupee per month so in 16 month it is 16 rupees now the 16 rupees is the cost of the car this is fixed now he decides that he is going to buy this particular car in 14 months so 16 rupees he need to save together all together in 14 months so in one month or per month how much rupee he is going to save that is 16 divided by 14 so previously he was saving rupees 1 now he is going to save 16 by 14 rupees per month now if you take the ratio of the previous saving and the current saving then you are getting 1 is to 16 by 14 that is 14 is to 16 you can cancel further by 2 but it is not required so 14 is to 16 that means previously he was saving 14 per month now he is saving 16 per month so the increase in saving is the difference that is 16 minus 14 2 on how much rupees previously 14 so 2 by 14 that is 1 by 7 multiplied by 100 we know 1 by 7 is 14 2 by 7 percent if you don't know just divide 100 by 7 you will get your answer so option number d is a correct answer this is your homework you are going to solve it and comment your answer below and let me know how you like the video and if you find the content of this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and share this channel with your friends and to get notification of newly uploaded important videos of our channel you need to click on the bell icon see you in the next class with new important concept till then bye bye take care